of the 92 students. 40 are boys and 52 are girls, making up the 15th graduation of Green Hills Academy. First Lady Jeanette Kagame and the chairman of the board of Green Hills Academy, Faustin Bundu, presented the certificates. This is the highest number of students to graduate senior six in the last 15 years. Most of them have already found universities out of the country to continue their studies. Representing her fellow graduates, Muriel Motoni thanked all those that played a role in their education. In Homiza Mihigo, we're the first to do many things, whether it be new curriculums, new school rules, new technology, or new teaching techniques. We did it all, and we did it well. Today and always, we thank you all for the part that you have played in building us into the amazing people that stand before you. We thank the teachers who have dedicated their lives, time, and patience for more than a decade to improving us and putting us on the right path. The staff members who spent hours making our school life just a little more comfortable, our counselors, the college counselor and the personal counselor for helping us figure out who we're going to be and how we feel about it. People need people to be people. Being here today, us being here today, celebrating such an important milestone is a manifestation of that. It is because of the people in our lives, our parents, friends and family, that we are who we are. We owe you an eternity of gratitude for the strength you instill in us. Head of Green Hills Academy, Daniel Hollinger, commended these students for their good behavior and endurance during the COVID-19 pandemic. Graduates. <clears throat> Graduates, we are all incredibly proud of you. We are gathered here to celebrate you and your successful completion of the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program and high school. Despite many obstacles, like the pandemic, those pesky assignment deadlines. Yeah, you don't like those, right? No. Exams. You love exams, though, right? No? Uh, OK. Uh, anyway, you arrived here today for this auspicious occasion. You were born great. You came into this world as a precious baby with enormous potential. You grew up with resources, privileges, and opportunities that most children and young people in the world can only dream about. In many ways, too numerous to mention, you have already achieved greatness. And I know that you will continue as you pursue your interests, your talents, and your passions. In whatever you do, in whatever you do, whatever you choose to do. Contribute to making the world a better and more peaceful place. High Excellency Jeanette Kagame told the graduating class that their graduation shows that they have followed their lessons well, so they should become useful people. I believe that the contribution to our country and to our world of every graduate in front of me will be impactful. I'm certain that with more, fo more focus and drive, your presence in your community and beyond will not just be felt. I believe that your presence will be highly favorable to us all. You've proven through your academic performance thus far that you are appreciative of the powers of learning. For this, I congratulate you. And I trust that, and I trust that the families present here today are happy to join me in celebrating you. From the time our Rwanda was liberated two and a half decades ago, we were, stuck, we, were tasked, we were tasked with rebuilding this land into one that could offer what you deserve. We believe that you deserved quality education through competent institutions and general safety. If we are to consider the future in terms of the future leaders I see today, I'm inclined to optimism and even faith. Nevertheless, if we are to gaze with clarity and courage at the fights, present and possibly future that are threatening the wellness of people around the world, it's evident that hard work will be required to overcome. 
from global warming to our regained familiarity with the global pandemics, the future can feel daunting. I add you to, remind, to remember one thing, the good things are typically cousins to the bad and the ugly. Your good judgment, which you display as you reach important milestones such as this one, is your shield. She also urged parents to keep track of their children. We might be here today because we wish to celebrate them, but I believe that we are also here because of the silent pledge we are making. It remains our responsibility to offer these young people a helping hand. Children are a blessing, and I'm thankful that the ones in front of me are blessing us further by earning their academic credentials and making us proud. This is the 15th senior graduation of Green Hills Academy. The school has been in operation for 24 years. In addition to attending courses in various departments, the students have also been involved in the provision of health insurance to more than 2,000 people in Rubavo District, not forgetting other activities, including helping patients at the University Teaching Hospital of Kigali. Innocent Mugawo, RTV News.